A computer mouse with eyes, ears, and whiskers reads a book. Here's how. Come and read between the lions. Come on. A family of puppet lions plays and reads inside a library. Inside the library, a title. The Lost Rock. The lion cubs Lionel and Leona run past their parents. Hey, hey, Leona, what? please. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Leona slows hey, down. What are you gonna do? Huh? A monkey puppet walks by with Thank a big you. book. Let's see you. Hmm. Oh, hey, y'all, uh, be oh. careful there, Mr. Webster. Uh, that dictionary's heavy. No problem. Ooh, reddish, a noun, the crisp, spicy root of a cruciferous plant, usually eaten raw. Very interesting. <laughs> he really loves reading the dictionary. Yeah, and he's much stronger than he looks. An object flies into the library and lands at their feet. <laughs> Whoa, I had nothing to do with that. Me neither. Oh, it's a note wrapped around a rock. Huh. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Uh, did anyone lose a note wrapped around a rock? No, no, no. The rock squirms on the desk. <laughs> it's a talking rock. Whoa. <gasps> the lion mother, Cleo, unwraps the rock. It's the size of a kickball and has eyes and a mouth. Almost. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I was getting kind of stuffy. Ooh. Hope I didn't break anything. Lionel looks at his little sister. He's a rock. Rocks aren't cute. Oh, oh, oh. Did, did someone throw you here? Uh, I kind of threw myself. You threw yourself? Yeah, like I'm highly motivated. I'll show you. He starts to shake. Oh, oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, we believe you. <laughs> mm. yeah. Oh, mommy, can we keep him? I'll wash him and polish him and call him Larry. Oh. Well, uh, as much as I might dig being polished and called Larry, uh, I'm going home, man. Home to the book I came from. Your home is a book? Yeah, but like, I haven't seen it in two years, man. Oh. Two, two years? Yeah, like, I've been on the road, man. I wrote all about it in that note that was wrapped around me. Cleo oh. reads the note. You wrote this? Oh, that's amazing! How did you do it? Like, with great difficulty. A spotlight yeah. shines. I started to rock, and that made me roll. guys, but my rockin' and rollin' days are over, man. I'm going home. Home to the book I came from. 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What book do you come from? <laughs> what book? Oh, well, it's one of the books in this library. It's, um, it's, um... Oh, I forget which one! <laughs> you forget? How could you forget? I don't know, I don't know! <laughs> All that rocking and rolling probably took its toll on his memory. Hmm. What? <clears throat> oh, don't worry. Uh, we can help you. That's what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, do you remember anything at all about your book? Anything? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I remember a page. <gasps> Good, a page. That's a start. Yep, now, yep. what was on that page? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, a rooster. There was a rooster on it. A rooster? Okay, what else? A robot, a rocket, uh, uh, and a roof. Hmm. I wonder what kind of book that could be. A loud one. <laughs> Sorry. Cleo reads her list. Rooster, robot, rocket, roof. Hmm. Well, that's enough to go on. I'll go track it down. Okay. Leona leans in close to the rock. Don't worry, Larry. We'll find your book. Uh, call me Rock. Okay, Larry. Rock. She kisses him. <laughs> now Rock's note comes closer. A box appears around one word. Rock! Rock! Now in a theater. And now, lovers of the bowels, A-E-I-O-U, and sometimes Y, the bowels are here to sing the short O sound from their hit word, And now, sock music. A sock hand puppet. Oh, sock, sock, sock. Oh, yeah, sock, sock, sock. Barnaby the statue. This is shocking. No, no, it's socking. <laughs> sock, sock, sock. Oh, sock, sock, sock. Now a cartoon. The Un People. Sick of all the rhinos frolicking in her room, brave little Monica Maxwell has rounded them up and locked them in her closet. <gasps> but wait a minute, what's this? Oh no, it's the evil Un People. They're putting an Un in front of the word locked, causing the closet to become unlocked. Those doggone rhinos are loose again. But despair not, brave little Monica. The heroic Ree people are here. Look, they've re-rounded up the rhinos and re-locked them in the closet. Thank you, Ree people. You're wonderful. Now the letters C and L. K -u -k -u -ko -ko -ko. Next, the letters O C K. Ock, ock. Cool. Ock. Clock. 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 Now letters come and go to make new words and sounds. Lock. Ock. Mm. Mock. Mom. Mm. Mom. Now in a laboratory. <laughs> That's it, Watson. That's it. <laughs> That's what, Dr. Nitwit? <gasps> Nit White! No, Nit White, sorry! <laughs> yes! Uh, Watson, you are witness to a great discovery! Behold! The only two words in the entire English language that are the same forwards and backwards! <laughs> Mom and P. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow! <laughs> what did you say? Wow! Oh, no. <laughs> the scientist types W-O-W. -W. Wow! Go away. Uh, yes, Dr. Nithwick. Wait, 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 wait! I've now 35 names with a short O, ah sound in them. Hi, I'm Topsy. Yo, I'm Tom. Meet Flopsy, Mopsy, Mopsy.
Back in the library, Cleo uses a computer. I did a search of our database for everything in the library that contains rock, rocket, robot, rooster, and roof, and I found this. Whoa, good hunting, Cleo, dear. Well, that's a video. You said you were from a book. Hmm, I could have forgot. Like, I hit my head a lot. Oh, you should wear a helmet, Larry. Uh, rock. Hey, let's watch it. If, yes. if there's a rock missing from it, then that's where you're from. Cleo plays the videotape. In the video, a title appears, Rocket Doodle Doo. A cartoon rocket ship flies over fields, then crashes into the roof of a farmhouse. Well, the rocket ship landed on my roof last night. And out came a robot and a rooster, that's right. The robot played guitar and the rooster played kazoo. And they played a little song called Rocket Doodle Doo. Rock, rock, a rocket doodle doo. Rock, rock, a rocket doodle doo. The rocket had a blast and the robot and the rooster did too. Cows, pigs, horses, and sheep all dance. Rock, rock, everybody rock. Dance a rocket doodle, dance around the clock. Rock, rock, rocket doodle, doodle. The rooster doodle. wears sunglasses. Take it, rooster! The farmers dance, and the rocket blasts off into space. Back in the library. Rock, 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 doodle, doodle. The lions look at rock. Sorry. Oh, and that's not where I'm from. They sang a rock a lot, but they didn't mean a rock. They didn't mean me. No. Oh, like I'm never gonna get home. Oh, don't cry, Larry. Oh, poor guy. Rock. Now a hen puppet sits at a desk. Oh. Barnaby B. Busterfield III, Public Library Information Hand Speaking. Oh, oh, now, dear, don't you worry. When you come to the library, one of our librarians will help you find whatever you're looking for. Uh, well, yes, dear, our librarians are lions, but they don't eat the visitors to the library. Oh, no. No, not even if they're wildebeest. You're welcome, Mrs. Wildebeest. Library information hand, how may I help you? Oh, oh, one moment, Mr. President, I'll look that up. She turns pages in a book. Dr. Bertie's Berry Double O in tooth. A word appears, spelled T-O-O-T-H. A woman wearing a red dress stands. The woman, Dr. Berry, accepts a bouquet of roses. It's another fine day at the National Word Cup Masters, where the young word-writing phenom, Tiger Words, is stepping up to the T. He's got to make the word tooth. It's a tricky word, with the T sound at the beginning, the OO sound in the middle, and at the end, the interesting TH sound. T OO TH. If he makes it, he will win a tube of toothpaste. He's taking a writing implement from his pencil case. It's a number two pencil, a smart choice for this word. Tiger positions himself at the T. Just look at that perfect stroke. He writes the letter O. And look, it's a second beautifully executed letter O, making the vowels O-O, which makes the sound OO. With the letter T, that makes the sound T-OO, too. It's really looking good for Tiger. Now, all he has to do is add the th sound at the end of the word. He raises his pencil. Oh, what a disappointment! He wrote the letter F, which makes the sound f. He's written the word tooth. But, but wait! He's noticed his mistake. He's turning his pencil around, and he's erasing the letter F. And yes, yes, he's writing the letters T, H, th, changing the word to t, ooth. Tooth, he's done it again. And there goes our champion, Tiger Words, to accept his toothpaste. Congratulations, Tiger. Now inside a refrigerator. 
And now, once again, it's time for the adventures of Sam Spud, parboiled potato detective. A potato wears a trench coat. The name is Spud, Sam Spud. I was working late one night. The loose bulb and the neon sign outside my window was about to drive me crazy when there was a knock at my door. Yeah? And she walked in. It had been a long time, but she still looked good, real good. She sashayed up to my desk, cowl as a cucumber. Cowl? That's not right. O-W, that's ow. That should be O-O. Ooh, cool. Cool as a cucumber. As a matter of fact, she was a cucumber. She said she had a scoop for me. She did. Two scoops. Pistachio. She knew I was a fool for pistachio. That's when she lowered the boom. I woke up the next afternoon. It felt like someone was doing a tap dance on my noodle. As a matter of fact, way to boogie toots. The cucumber dances. Now a girl watches TV. Mom, there's that talking potato with no mouth again. This incessant wordplay is making me queasy. It's educational television, dear. Remember, sometimes things that are good for us are hard to swallow. Now a music video. the letters O-O and the letter H. Ooh. H-O-O-T. Hoot. Next, R-O-O-T. Root. R-O-T. Rot. The letter C-K. R-O-C-K. Rock. The letters E-T. Et. Rocket. Now the letter R flies like a rocket past a man with white hair. The letter R lands, and the man points to it. The letters O-C-K land next to the R. Ock, ock, r, ock, rock, rock, rock. Now the letters E-T land at the end of the word rock. It, it, rock. Et. Rocket. Rocket! Rocket! He puts his hand over his mouth. The word rocket launches into the air like a rocket ship. Now letters come and go to make new words and sounds. Rock. Ock. S. Sock. T. Stock. Stop. And now, Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. A word sits on Dr. Ruth's couch. Stop, spelled S-T-O-P. Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Wertheimer with another word that's tired of being what it is and wants to change. Isn't that right? Oh, you bet I want to change. I want a little excitement in my life. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> of course not. But your problem is the letters S and T. They are what's making you perfectly good up stop. So let go of that S and that T. Now it's just up. Oh, now I feel so meaningless. <laughs> Relax. Dr. Ruth will give you meaning by adding the letter 
H. H O P. <gasps> hop. <gasps> hop. 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 Oh, there's no stopping me now. Thank you, Dr. Ruth. Hop. 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 You're welcome. Ooh, I'm good. It's magic time with the great Smartini. A puppet with big pants. Announce a bunny. Hey. And this is his beautiful assistant, the remarkable Smarmy Marmy Smartini. A puppet with orange hair. And now I, the great Smartini, will do my amazing trouser defying short O A trick. Marmy, may I have two words that have the short O A sound in them, please? <laughs> Great smart Amy are the words popping oh. and popcorn. Oh. Thank you, Mommy. I will now put these words into my smarty pants. And now I will say a magic word, do a magic dance. Yes, I'll do a magic dance in my magic smarty pants. Abracadabra! Ooh, ah. Dancing smart to plant. Ooh, ah. Uh, ooh. Popping popcorn! Popcorn fills up his big pants, then pops into the air and spills all over the stage. <laughs> now the letters O C K. Ah. R O C K. Rock! In the library, the lions gather around Rock. Uh. I'm never gonna find the book I came from. Oh, yes you will. It may just take a little time. <clears throat> hey, while we're waiting, could I take Rock to the lake and skim him? Oh, hey, no. I'm a rock. Don't treat me like dirt. Mm. Oh, sorry. Pebbles fall out of Rock's eyes. <laughs> oh, look, Mommy. He's crying pebbles. Oh, I'm just feeling sentimental. The monkey with the dictionary. I must register a robust complaint. Oh, oh, what's the problem, Mr. Webster? Look, right here after robot. Hmm, there's the word rock and the definition. But the rock is missing. That's my page, man. That's my book. Yeah! 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 And, and it's yeah. not just any book. It's the dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the rock. You're the rock people turn to when they want to know what rock is. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Oh, you found my home. I am touched deep down in the... Whatever rock's got deep down. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, oh, does this mean you're gonna leave, Larry? Rock! And yes, it does mean I'm leaving. But why talk about it when we can sing about it? Yeah, I've been out there rock and rolling on my own. But no more will I roam. So goodbye, Mr. Rolling Stone. This rock is going home. Yes, my rock and rolling days are over. Those days are my rock and rolling days are over. They're I'm going home. He's going home. I'm going home. He's going home. Yes, my rock and rolling days are over. I'm going home. He's going home. I'm going home. He's going home. Yes, my rock and rolling days are over. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye, Larry. I'll never forget you guys. Yeah. But most of all, that the whole Larry thing, huh? very trippy. Uh, hey, goodbye, all. Hey, look me up sometime, huh? Rock what? rolls into the dictionary and changes into a drawing of a rock. Mm. What? What? This book's so heavy now. What do you got in here? A rock? He struggles to lift the dictionary. <laughs> a bowling ball rolls downstairs. <gasps> oh. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, I don't mean to bother you, but uh, I'm lost, see? Uh, I've rolled out of a book. Oh. <gasps> oh. Mommy, Mommy, can I keep him? Oh, please, Mom. I'll wash him, and I'll polish him, and I'll call him, um, uh, Steve. Oh, Leona. <laughs> now up in a balcony. And now, clock music. A clock sits beside Barnaby the statue. 
Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> now this I like. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Oh yeah. Groovy. Tick tock. Tick -tock. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. PBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword PBS Kids. Reading to children every day creates warm family memories, and it helps them become better readers. Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do your designated reader thing. Okay. This program was described by Descriptive Video Service WGBH Boston with funding from the U.S. Department of Education. Described by Brian Gould. Read by Chloe Lehman. For more about DVS, visit our website at wgbh.org slash DVS. Credits, executive producer Judith Stoya. Executive producers for Serious Thinking, Michael K. Frith, Norman Stiles, and Christopher Cerf. Directed by Lisa Simon. Copyright 2000 WGBH Educational Foundation and Serious Thinking.